Hi, I'm Kristen Omdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to knit brioche stitch in the round with two colors of yarn. After you learn the technique, I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous cowl and slouchy knit hat. We're going to be using worsted weight yarn, so it works up really quickly to make these beautiful holiday gifts. Let's get started. Make sure you follow the link in the video description to download the free pattern and order the Be So Brave yarn, which is still on sale on my website for $5 a hank. Be So Brave yarn is 100% USA made American Merino wool. It's worsted weight and comes in many beautiful saturated colors. I'm going to use Cape Cod Bay and Orangesicle for the two colors for the demonstration and I'm going to cast on with both of them. Sometimes I think it's fun to use two colors of yarn when doing a cast on because then you don't have to do any guesswork to figure out how much yarn to pull ahead. So I'm going to hold both tails in my right hand with my needle and then hold both of the yarns in my left hand like I'm doing long tail cast on and just Cast on as many stitches as I need. If you are doing the hat pattern, you're going to need 60 stitches cast on. If you're doing the cowl pattern, you're going to need 72 stitches cast on. And if you're making something smaller or larger in circumference, just make sure that you cast on an even number of stitches. When learning how to knit brioche in the round, I highly recommend starting with two color before working in one color because it's much easier to recognize your mistakes. You'll clearly see if you've knit or slipped the wrong stitches because you won't be maintaining these vertical stripes. Using the two color cast on is a great way to help you understand to how to not twist your stitches when working in the round. If you notice the doing it in two colors, our stitch is at the top of the work and our cast on edge is at the bottom of the work. So Cape Cod Bay is the stitch and the cast on edge is in orangesicle. So if we line this up just so, you can see that I have my stitches to the outside of the needles and my cast on into the inside. And that's how we know we haven't twisted our stitches. I love that, it's such a great way to learn how to recognize your stitch from your cast on so that you don't twist it. We're now ready to begin our setup round for the beginning of this project. And what a setup round means is that it's a round you only do one time and it's not repeated like the rest of the stitch pattern. I'm going to use Orangesicle for my setup round, which is the beautiful saturated orange. And we're going to, we're going to add our stitch marker first and then we're going to yarn over, slip one, and knit one. Yarn over, slip one, and knit one. Yarn over, slip one, and knit one. And this is what we're going to repeat all the way around. I enjoy living dangerously just as much as the next person, but knitting brioche two color in the round is not one of them. I always recommend slipping a stitch marker in between every round. In the early rounds of this project, you want to make sure that you're checking to see that your stitches aren't twisted still. So we've got our stitches to the outside edge and our cast on edge to the inside edge. I've slipped my stitch marker and I'm now ready to begin row round two. And so I'm going to grab the second ball of yarn, which is the Cape Cod Bay, and I'm gonna pull it from under the orangesicle so that I'm kind of wrapping the yarns together because I wanna carry my yarns up every other round as I go, instead of cutting them at the end of every round. Because what will happen is you'd have so many ends to weave in, plus it's a waste of yarn. So we're gonna carry our yarns from round to round. So we've slipped our stitch marker, we're at the beginning of round two, and so with yarn B, we're going to knit two together with our first two stitches. And on a brioche stitch, knit two together, or purl two together, which will be our following round, you wanna make sure that when you're doing the 
the two together portion, you're doing a yarn over and a stitch together. It's a good way to make sure that you're on track is to always make sure that the two together stitch is with a yarn over. So these first two here, we're going to knit two together, which is our brioche knit stitch. And then we're gonna yarn over, slip one as if to purl, and that's our repeat. So we're going to knit two together, yarn over, slip one. Knit two together, yarn over, and slip one. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. And now we're ready to begin round three. We're gonna grab our yarn A, and it's really helpful to untangle your yarns as you go. You'll have a lot less headaches in the long run if you make sure that they stay untangled. So I'm gonna pull this, okay, there we go. So now we're gonna, we're positioned so that I can grab yarn A from underneath yarn B, so I'm carrying it up as I go, and I'm ready to begin round three. So we're going to move the yarn to the back of the work, slip one as if to purl, and purl the next two stitches together. Yarn to the back of the work, which is a yarn over on a purl round, slip one, and purl the next two stitches together. Yarn to the back of the work, slip one as if to purl, and purl the next two stitches together. Yarn over, slip one, purl two together. Yarn over, slip one, and purl two together. Couple of tricks to keep in mind to keep you on track. Remember that a slip stitch needs to be the wrong color. So we're working in orange right now. We wanna make sure that our slip stitches are not orange. That way we're carrying up the other color so that we maintain this two color vertical striping. The other trick to remember is to make sure that you're knit two togethers and purl two togethers include one of the yarn overs. You never want to be slipping the yarn over stitch. So we'll yarn over, slip one, and purl two together. Yarn over, slip one, and purl two together. Yarn over, slip one, and purl two together. And you wanna repeat this all the way around. We're ready to begin round four, which is going to be with yarn B, which is Cape Cod Bay. We wanna make sure our yarns are not tangled and that we can position, okay, so that uh, yarn B can come out from under yarn A, which kind of wraps it as we go. And we're gonna start with a brioche knit stitch, which is to knit the first two stitches together. And remember, you always want to make sure you have a yarn over with that knit stitch. So we're gonna knit these two together, beginning of round four, yarn over, slip one, and knit two together. Yarn over, slip one, and knit two together. Yarn over, slip one, and knit two together and repeat this all the way around. I prefer working my brioche knit stitch through the back loop. I like how it differentiates the right side from the wrong side of the fabric. Whether you work through the front loop or the back loop with your brioche stitch, just remember to be consistent throughout the entire project. The end of round four, you wanna make sure you move your yarn to the back of the work, which is kind of like a very loose yarn over, which will be handy at the end of the next round. We're gonna slip our stitch marker to the right hand needle. We're now ready to begin our next round with yarn A. So we're gonna wrap the yarn underneath the last yarn worked to come up and repeat round three. You wanna make sure your yarn is to the back of the work before you slip one as if to purl and purl the next two stitches together. So we have a slip yarn over and the brioche purl two together. So we're gonna move our yarn to the back of the work for the yarn over, slip one as if to purl, and purl the next two stitches together. Yarn over, slip one, 
and purl two together. Yarn over, slip one, and purl two together. Yarn over, slip one, and purl two together. And you want to repeat this all the way around. Slip our stitch marker to the right hand needle and we're now ready to begin round six, which is to repeat round four. So we're going to bring yarn B around yarn A, and we start with a knit two together with the yarn over and the stitch that come first. Knit two together. We're going to yarn over, slip one as if to purl, and knit the next two stitches together. Yarn over, slip one, and knit two together. Yarn over, slip one, knit two together. And repeat this all the way around. As you've noticed, our last two rounds were actually repeats. So at this point, we're going to continue with repeating rounds three and four for the desired length. Both the slouchy hat and the cowl call for knitting for nine inches, but if you're doing a different sized hat or a different type of tubular project, just repeat rounds three and four for the desired length. In the next two parts of this video, I will show you how to either cast off to create a tube for the cowl or create a decreased crown to create the slouchy hat. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them for me in the comments. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos.